Hey everyone, welcome to Med Smashers. Today I am gonna teach you about kerosene poisoning. First, let's talk about kerosene. What is kerosene? Kerosene is an aliphatic hydrocarbon. It is volatile, it has some odor, and it is colorless. Here you can see a picture of kerosene oil. You must be wondered why this is in blue color. Did I say it is colorless? Because it is for marketing purpose, this color is also used for prevention of any accidental poisoning. It is used as a fuel and also for cooking in a stove and also used in lamp. Here you can see a picture of a lamp and a stove. The fatal dose is 30 ml and fatal period is 24 hours. The mode of poisoning. It is mostly accidental ingestion in case of children mostly. The clinical features. Asymptomatic when ingested in small amount. There will be burning sensation in mouth and pharynx, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain and also diarrhea by increasing peristalsis. Person order in breath, vomitus or urine can be detected. There will be fever and the respiratory symptoms. It may occur by inhalation and it can cause cyanosis, tachypnea, nasal flaring. Features of bronchospasm, consolidation, and crackles may be present. Hypoxemia, which can be assisted by pulse oximetry. There will be some central nervous system symptoms like drowsiness, giddiness, headache, convulsion, and also coma. Now I will talk about the complications, chemical pneumonitis, atelectasis, pulmonary edema, respiratory acidosis which can ultimately cause respiratory failure and you know it can cause death and central nervous system depression. Now the investigation, we can do CBC, complete blood count and in complete blood count we have to see the total count of WBC, the condition called leukocytosis, but it is not confirmatory. We can do X-ray of chest, radiological evidence, there will be pneumonitis, consolidation and pleural effusion. By pulse oximetry, we can check the oxygen saturation. Now the treatment. First, remove the patient from exposure and also Remove all contaminated clothing and wash the skin with copious amounts of water and also eye irrigation. Then hospitalization. In case of asymptomatic cases, we have to admit for observation and discharge after 24 hours if no symptom develops. But in case of symptomatic cases, we have to take some steps. You must must remember this contraindication. Emesis and gastric lavage is not done. It is contraindicated in case of kerosene poisoning because of aspiration. As it is a volatile poison, it can aspirate into lung. Uh, we have to administer oxygen. Then, in case of some patients, like in case of respiratory failure, may require intubation like endotracheal intubation and ventilatory support. Routine use of antibiotic is not recommended and supportive treatment and steroid and liquid paraffin orally can be given. So this is all about kerosene poisoning. I hope you have liked this lecture. If you like it then please like, subscribe and share and hit the bell button for more notifications. Thank you everyone. Bye.